Felicia Williams works at a store at the corner of Forest Hills Boulevard and Euclid Avenue in East Cleveland. She told me since the traffic signal went from working to a flashing red light with stop signs, she's witnessed accidents and close calls. You treat it like a stop sign. Most people, they just go through the light. And we saw it today. Drivers not stopping at the busy intersection. Joy Jordan both owns a business and lives here in East Cleveland. And this morning, she was one of those close calls. I had an individual who refused to stop. And had I not broke or uh, put on my brakes, there would have been a collision. With a school right down the street, one school board member says it is not just about driver safety. Anytime the traffic is inconsistent and they don't have a light you know, that gives them enough time to get across the street, it makes it less safe for the children. Protesters stood in the middle of Euclid Avenue, they say, to bring attention to the problem, a problem Councilman Nathaniel Martin says he is well aware of. As council, why isn't something being done? We, like any council, a council in Cleveland, South Euclid, we give the mayor a budget, okay? He has to stay within his budget, but he has some leeway so he can juggle something. We want them to fix this Protesters called on East Cleveland Mayor Gary Norton to fix the problem. We wanted to talk to him too. We went to City Hall, we went to his house, and we called him on the phone. I'm sorry, the person you were trying to reach has a voicemail box that has not been set up yet.